Hi there, Sean Wilmot. Today we're looking at the Ford Transit Cargo for 2020, arguably the most filmed vehicle in the history of moviedom. Let's review it. So what has Ford done for the latest incarnation of the Transit Cargo? Well, most of the changes started about 2019 when Ford started rolling things out gradually, which was a very smart move to make. What happened back then was we started to see the first of this chrome grille appearing here with a nice surround. And we've also seen the addition of the front sensors, which complement the rear sensors at the back as well to give you that complete parking package. From there, Ford moved across to the lights, where they integrated a, um, the LED daytime running lights, which are really, really good, and they're rigueur for most modern vehicles. But Ford has done something a little bit trickier too. They've also added a static bending light. So one of these bulbs will actually throw light out as you turn the corner into the direction of the turn, so that you can actually see what might run out from the side, maybe a little bit of curb stone there that you can't see, and it just helps give you that little bit of extra illumination, which is just what a delivery driver needs if they're working between the hours of darkness. And from a health and safety aspect, you've got this brilliantly bright yellow handle here, which is impossible to miss, which is absolutely perfect for getting in and out of the van nice and safely. So there you can see, you've got the height, you've got my perm, you've got the extra one inch. Now from there, we can go right down the side there to 15 cubic meters. And then we go from wall to wall, which is the width that we need. And then down to the wheel arches down here. So that's two measurements that you need to consider. The width between the doors on either side and between the wheel arches, which you can't see. And both of those are kind of critical when it comes to making your buying decision. So let's go around the back and take a look. So as you can see, we've got two nice wide opening doors here, which is perfect for forklifts to deliver a full Euro pallet. Now these things are quite big. And as you can see, when you're dealing with forklifts and fast moving transit cargoes, this is what you need. Just that right amount of space for that Euro pallet and you can probably get two or three in there as well. Now there's one other thing here that I need to mention, and that is this. Not too many people would think about using a transit cargo van as a towing vehicle, but in this instance you can. Now the original Ford Transits, or the earlier modeled ones, came out with an 1875 kilogram towing capacity. This one, the 2020, comes out with a 2800 kilo towing capacity, largely because Ford has configured this particular model as a rear wheel drive. The Transit is still running a 2-litre turbo diesel engine, which is a very nice, well-balanced engine for a commercial vehicle to operate. That puts out about 125 kilowatts of power and around 390 newton metres of torque. Now, overall, we're talking about a CO2 emissions count of around about 193 grams per kilometre. Typically, a Ford Transit would be running a six-speed manual or a six-speed automatic, and most of the time, that's more than you need because that's basically what we've had. But with this particular model of van, what we're talking about here now is a 10-speed transmission that has come directly from the V8 5-litre Mustang. And that is so cool for a number of reasons. In the first instance, it allows you to get maximum fuel efficiency. We have a fuel efficiency figure of 7.3 litres per 100 kilometres. In the second reason, it basically means that the transmission is not going to hunt for its right gear. It's just going to find the perfect one every single time. And that's really quite critical. We'd like to show you exactly how spacious the cabin interior is and how much storage space you have on board. And you have heaps of it. Starting from the very top, you've got these cubby holes up the top here. These are nicely segregated. You've got four separate spaces for keeping all your office paperwork intact and not flying around the cabin. Moving on from that, you've got storage pockets on the door, obviously, and the obligatory coffee cup holder up there on the dash with an easy grasp. Directly underneath that, of course, you've got a large bottle holder as well. Up the top here, we've got another three segmented pockets here and a fourth one if you count the cell phone holder. So we have these charge points up here for the USB and for the 12 volt, and that's mirrored down here as well with the 12 volt and the USB charger. And then of course, right on the side, you've got an obligatory coffee cup holder to mirror the one on the right. 
In here we also have a 230 volt inverter, which means you can plug your laptop or your cell phone or your thermos, whatever, into that and run the whole system very neatly and tidily. Close that back up and we can pull this one back out. We've got an additional two coffee cup holders there and also a nice place to store the laptop. New technology from Ford is the Ford Pass Connect app, which you can use to unlock your vehicle, to start your engine remotely from the comfort of your cell phone, and you can also use it to location monitor your vehicles wherever they may be in real time. It's a very clever app and it's being used right across the entire Ford range. The Ford Transit Cargo is not only an immensely practical cargo hauler, it's also a very, very smart business decision and business asset. We're talking about a vehicle here which has a 30,000 kilometer service interval, which is a good time for the vehicle to be mobile and doing its thing on the road for you. In addition to that, you've got Ford's five year, 150,000 kilometer warranty package, and we have the advantages of Ford roadside assistance for three years or unlimited case. Test drive one today. <music>